is the Chrissy Swan Show. Let's go click in. Chrissy's clickbait. I mean, look, a little bit of a Taylor Swift update here. I've got a couple of things. Um, one, her boyfriend wants to move into television after his sports career. Has he Dirt gone out Fred. and said that publicly again? Yeah, he said it. Oh, Trav, stop, mate. We get it. <laughs> I mean, look, I understand manifestation and you've got to say it or it won't happen. I get that. Secondly, Maddie Healy is officially engaged. Now, what is going on with people moving on very quickly from previous relationships? That is fast. He was in a relationship with Taylor Swift and, and I thank him. For breaking her heart because what an album Torture Poets Department is. But he's officially moved on, engaged. I'm kind of happy for him, though, because it would have been rough going through listening to an album about your, like, you being a douchebag, essentially. How so at least he's found happiness. How do you spell rebound? Uh, and Taylor <laughs> Swift, uh, this is the headline, has been seen wiping a giant booger on her ears to a costume during the Scottish concert that left her so frozen. Big. Now, here's the thing. I understand this. My nose runs whenever it drops a couple of degrees. So I get this. And what a trooper. She's got this massive icicle of booger coming out and she makes out like it ain't no big thing. It was big, though. It was a big thing. I, rem- I remember in primary school, that's probably one of my like most traumatic memories is when you yeah. like have a sneeze and the big ball of snot comes oh out in front my- of your friends. There's oh, nothing. Is- and I wasn't old oh. enough to know how to blow it. Like... And- <laughs> <laughs> and what about what about when your eyes meet their eyes and you don't, don't know that you've got a face full of booger and they do in sweat the secondhand shame Chase Crawford which is one of the most American names I've ever heard in my life such a jock is, such a jock he uh, is famous from uh, teen drama Gossip Girl he has sat down for an interview and has said the following. Have you ever hooking up with a co-star? Oh, God. <laughs> I would say those things are inevitable. Uh, you know, <laughs> when you're in your 20s, like, mm-hmm. people would probably think it's like these sexy scenes. That's like the worst part of it. It's like yeah. 60 people watching. It's like the downtime. You're on set for like 12, 14 hours a day. Mm-hmm. And usually there's some pretty interesting diff- people from all walks of life. The danger is if, if you connect right away with like sense of humor. For me, I'm like, oh, I got to like watch out. Well, you know who they say he's talking about? Who? Liz Hurley. Of course, because his character Nate was with Diana. Yes. Hey, that would be, they would be a hot match. Yeah, I agree. I'm looking at the cast from Gossip Girl. Blake Lively, Leighton Meester. Ken Badgley, what an absolute hit after hit. It was the best show, Swanee. Like, I still go back years after and watch it. It was so good. And it's on Netflix. Can I get you to replay that grab again? And then when I say stop, um, stop. And just listen to the interviewer completely (laughs) bastardising the past tense of to hook up. Have you ever hooking up with... (laughs) What? Have you ever hooking up? Be better. Stop it. The Chrissy Swan Show. First... Chrissy's clickbait. Now, what is going on with J-Lo and Ben Affleck? The plot thickens, I think, Jack. I think it's time we just release a statement, Benefer. Oh, God, I just feel so sad for them because, you know, they just would have thought, I mean, look, it's not over. I'm, I'm sort of, you know. No, it's done. You reckon it yeah, is? Yeah, I read it. I mean, Take this with a grain of salt. I read a Daily Mail article this morning that said exclusive <laughs> Ben <laughs> Affleck is an alcoholic again. And I mean, if anyone's going to drive you to alcoholism, it's Jennifer Lopez. What? Is he back is he According back to it? the Daily Mail. Anyway, sorry. Tell me your story. Oh, no. Anyway, uh, they have both attended the graduation of Ben and Jennifer Garner's son, Samuel. Yep. Um, he graduated primary school. It's so cute the way that they go on about all that sort of I stuff. I loved it's, my grade six graduation. It's so sweet, isn't it? They're so fun. Um, anyway, they've arrived separately. They haven't even talked. They haven't even, like, embraced it, each They're married. Like, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, so they're done. If they've stayed separate. Also, like... What's it would Jen Jennifer Lopez be close to Sam because that's Jennifer Garner's son? I guess she's the stepmom. Well, yeah, it's and then also when you've got a blended family, from what I can gather, 
everyone feel everyone's very close to each other and like Jennifer Lopez's kids are about the same age as Ben's kids and maybe they all want to be at the graduation together. Yeah, it's mates. a real tricky situation. But I feel sad because they would have been so full of hope and joy and love and excitement a few years ago when they got married and now... And then he had to spend three years with her. <laughs> now it's dead. Uh, hey, I saw a snippet on Instagram last night. I think the most magnificent voice ever is Michael McDonald from Doobie Brothers. And I played this to my kids last night and Kit, who's the most musical of all of them, was like, oh, my God, like, where does that voice come from? It is so magical. Look him up. He's brilliant. And Peg Jimmy- was like, Mum, put Jojo Siwa back on. Exactly. Um, she was like, Karma is a bitch, Mum. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Jimmy Fallon is obviously also a massive fan and he lived his dreams he had Michael McDonald on his show and they sang together. Please enjoy taking it to the streets. Are you now, jealous? Wh- I'm so <laughs> jealous. And I know what it feels like to sing with your heroes because do you remember, Jack, we were working together and one of my favourite Australian performers is Glenn Shorick from Little River Band. Yes. And he came in and I got to sing this with him. We're all dancing in, in the dark, dark. Walking through the park and reminiscing. And I wept through the whole thing and I knew the words better than he did. <laughs> you did, that's right. <laughs> Poor Glenn. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.